welcome to the online lecture series of turbo machines here is professor lakshman mani this is lecture on impact of jet part 5 that is stationary inclined plate i acknowledge my sincere thanks to the following authors and internet resource for being used the concepts to make this video session in this session you will be able to explain an expression for force exerted on stationary inclined plate also you will be ex you will be able to explain an expression for ratio of discharges on fixed inclined plate let us see impact of jet on stationary inclined plate so here is a diagram in this diagram we can see a jet of water with velocity v striking to the plate which is inclined at theta angle so here our aim is to find the force which is normal to the plate that is fn so in this case mass flow rate of the jet striking to the fixed plate is rho av where rho is the density of water a area of jet that is pi by 4 into d square d is the diameter of jet v velocity of jet and theta angle between jet and plate by using impulse momentum principle force exerted by the jet of water on the plate is given by f is equal to mass flow rate into velocity difference that is velocity before striking and velocity after striking now here the component of velocity which is normal to the plate is what v sin theta so fn is equal to m dot that is rho av into bracket velocity component v sin theta before striking minus after striking velocity component is zero thus final expression for the normal force is what rho a v square sin theta its unit is newton now this force can be divided divided or resolved into two parts one is horizontal component other is vertical component that is in the direction of jet fx and perpendicular to the direction of jet that is fy so let us see fx is equal to what fn sin theta so fn is rho av square sin theta into sin theta means fx becomes rho av square sin square theta similarly component in the direction of perpendicular to the jet that is fy is what fn cos theta so fn cos theta means rho av square sin theta into cos theta now work done per second that is power it is what product of force into plate velocity now as the plate is stationary plate velocity is zero that's why power is zero now as the power is zero that's why here in the efficiency formula ratio becomes zero that's why for stationary plate efficiency is zero now inclined flat plate ratio of discharges so here in this figure we see when the jet of fluid strikes to the inclined plate it is divided into two parts q1 and q2 so q1 is upward directed flow rate while q2 is downward directed flow rate so here we can have q is equal to what summation of q1 plus q2 that is jet discharge now theta is what angle between jet and plate v is velocity now component in the direction of plate surface that is v cos theta so if no loss is considered then we can have here equation or relation that is what initial moment along the axis of plate that is equal to momentum of two streams along the axis of plate so here momentum is what mass into velocity mass is what rho into q so here initial that is rho q 1 v and next after striking that is rho q 2 v so here rho q 1 v minus rho q 2 v is equal to total 
total mass flow rate rho k rho q and velocity component v cos theta so here by the cancellation of terms rho v are the common terms so q1 minus q2 is equal to q cos theta that is equation number 1 and equation number 2 is already we know that is summation of two discharges q so now adding these equations 1 and 2 we can get left side 2q1 q2 will get cancelled right side q cos theta plus q so this q will be outside in the bracket and these two on the right hand side of the equation that's why q1 is equal to q by 2 bracket 1 plus cos theta now in the same way subtracting equation 1 and 2 we get twice of q2 is equal to q minus q cos theta so in the form of q2 equation that is q by 2 bracket 1 minus cos theta so taking ratio of these discharges q1 and q2 that is q1 by q2 will be equal to what 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta so in this session after learning you can illustrate an expression for force exerted on stationary inclined plate and you can illustrate an expression for the ratio of discharges on stationary inclined plate if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you